ओके अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू द लाइव क्लास नाउ आई विल बी रिवाइसिंग द पोएम आ फोटोग्राफ विथ ऑल ऑफ यू सो हियर बाय आई एम शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन फॉर योर कन्वीनियंस आई होप यू ऑल विल बी एबल टू सी इट राइट नाउ गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन जस्ट होल्ड ऑन द स्क्रीन विल बी विजिबल वेरी शॉर्टली प्लीज स्टे ऑनलाइन एवरीवन यस आई होप द स्क्रीन इज नाउ विजिबल टू ऑल ऑफ यू यस अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू uh yes it is visible can you all see it yes brook horn yes, will sir. okay yes, sir. Oh, okay fine and i will be just revising the poem a bit and then i will be asking all of you some mcqs okay since the als is over and you all have done really well a commendable job uh, so now let us move on to the revision of this poem and after i will be revising the poem along with some important points i will be asking some multiple choice questions and i hope that you will be interacting with me again okay so uh, let us move on in the introduction part first important thing dear students you should all know that the title of the poem is very much appropriate okay the title of the poem is very much apt or we can say appropriate because this poem is dedicated to the poet's mother by the poet herself and remember the name of the poet shale tolson okay and another important thing that we should remember uh, what is a photograph what is the characteristic trait of a photograph basically a photograph is something that captures a certain moment of someone's life yes a special moment or a i mean a certain special moment in someone's life is usually captured with the help of a photograph a photograph is something that captures a certain moment of someone's life suppose a celebration suppose uh, during the time of your uh, uh, farewell or suppose you all did so well in the exam your photograph is taken with the teacher so these things will stay forever whether you will grow up whether you will be uh, whether when you will be uh, having a family when you will be uh, i mean the uh, Uh, we will be having your own kids at that time you we will be seeing the photograph and at that time you will be remembering that yes once upon a time i was also a student right so this actually photograph is that that captures certain moments in someone's life and remember photographs are extremely special to everyone right and remember the person might change in course of time this is a very important line i highlight it this is very important to remember this this are the core concept related with the poem okay the percent might change in course of time but remember dear students the memories attached with the photograph are eternal the memories are always permanent the memories are always eternal okay now in this poem the poet's mother is no more but the photograph makes her memories come alive yes obviously because her mother is no more and as you all know by this time her mother died almost 12 years passed by so uh, the death of her mother had created a sadness all around okay sadness and uh, not only that it has created emptiness all around emptiness you can say you can use the word voidness also and now it seems that silence and sadness are the poet's two companions they are always moving along with the poet like shadows like haunting shadows we can say the mother's sweet face and her cousins have changed with time but the moment captured in the photograph still gives happiness to the poet's mother when she views it 30 to 40 years later now this is something very important when the poet's mother she was a young girl at that time on one of the summer vacation or rather to say on uh, during the time of a sea holiday it was been clicked by one of her uncle at that time she was a girl of only 12 years old later 20 30 years later she herself became a mother now her daughter that is the poet she is now of 12 years old and whenever this photograph she used to see this photograph she used to remind that pleasurable moment that she had experienced earlier okay now another important thing is that the sad part is that when she is no more alive when she is lying dead cold in the coffin or in the graveyard her daughter that is the poet herself now remember her daughter is now of her age she is no longer a 12 year old girl now she has also grown up now her mother died 12 years passed by and every time now when she sees the photograph she used to remember her mother and most importantly dear students she used to miss her mother a lot particularly what she used to miss she used to miss the ma her mother's laughter 
okay because she knew it at the back of her mind that it is not possible for her mother to come back once again from her graveyard okay and obviously to be along with her because man is mortal and memories are permanent and obviously photograph we can say it is a storehouse of human memories manifold various human memories okay now remember one thing death has also been personified just like silence has been personified in this poem death has also been personified been considered as very much powerful and it has the power uh, to curb the innocence and the pleasurable moments from our life but of course it can be stored as permanent like a work of art in case of storing it in a photo album but in our life obviously death is something that is inevitable the poet's mother now she is in the picture only because in reality she is no more so death has overpowered her okay and taken her life but important thing is that the memories are preserved uh, in an archive like in a storehouse and that is visible in the photograph just like a work of art is always permanent the memory stored in the photograph is permanent unless until and unless we destroy it it remains forever okay now remember one thing uh, uh, that we should all know about dear students the poet actually never ends in on a happy note the poem actually concludes on a melancholy note with the comment that there is nothing to say or comment upon this sad event the silence seems to silence all the other thoughts now see the poet she herself was a poet but it seems that she was also at a loss of words she can't uh, actually have that power uh, to express her uh, excruciating agonizing experience that she is experiencing deep inside she is experiencing a deep pain inside and it is very difficult for her uh, to uh, use the right choice of words okay we can say she was also at a loss of words being a poet herself she can't express it because sometimes tragedy in our life is so so much it creates a such a deep impact in our life that sometimes despite we be so much educated despite we be uh, so much learned we can't express it okay here also the same thing happened that the that the shock of the tragedy is so intense dear students let me repeat once again the shock of the tragedy is so intense in case of the uh, poet uh, i mean in case of charlotte also not the poet that it is uh, she is unable to define it okay i guess you all understood she is unable to describe it she is unable to define it in words or sentences it is something very difficult but obviously we say silence is consent obviously she is quiet and in her quietness lies the real tragedy that she had experienced okay and this line is very important dear students the silence seems to silence all the other thoughts so all the other thoughts that are in her mind that remains in her mind she is unable to express it because of the shock of the grief of or because of the shock that is related with the death of her mother even after 12 years also when that photo album she had taken out and when that particular special photo now she is looking at that photo she herself is now quite an aged lady okay now she is thinking of her mother and obviously she is thinking most importantly about the laughter of her mother and she went on thinking that when her mother used to be alive her mother used to laugh a lot by looking at the photograph and she used to relish uh, her journey down the memory lane because uh, she used to uh, very much uh, she used to think about her childhood days and that she knew at the back of her mind that won't return back to her isn't it now obviously in her absence the poet uh, is missing her a lot to be very honest and most importantly dear student she is missing the laughter of her mother a lot because she knew it very well at the back of her mind that her mother won't come back okay alive okay her mother won't come uh, come to her from the graveyard and will be with her it is not possible at all that is the thing that we can say the man is mortal and with the passage of time 
we change obviously after 20 years or 30 years later i will be very old i may not be the same as you can see me right now you all can see me right now and you all will be quite grown up at that time 20 30 years later isn't it but see the memories that we cherish right now if this memories are stored in the form in, in the form of a photo archive or in a photograph or, or an album it will stay and it will remind us that once upon a time we used to be like this but see in the world of nature even 20 30 years later also the world of nature won't be there won't be a drastic change dear students in the world of nature it will more or less remains the same as it is now obviously there will be certain change in the cyclic phenomenon in the world of nature but most importantly if you consider the nature from the overall perspective it will be hard there there you might notice hardly any change but of course in our life 10 years down the line 15 20 years down the line we we can't be the same can will we be the same after 20 30 years later dear students no we won't be the same but the memories if we clicked and stored in a photo album it will remind that particular memory when we used to be like this young quite energetic and active but with the passage of time we all will grow old and obviously we will die with the passage of time as can be said here in case of the poet's mother because she is no longer alive okay now some summary points are there these are the value points let me just discuss it the poet looks at the cardboard on which there is a childhood photograph of her mother we know in the photograph her mother was seen holding the hands of betty and dolly and one of their uncle was clicking the photograph and the poet's mother was the eldest among the girls okay among the other two girls means i am talking about betty and dolly and remember all these things happened before the poet was born and obviously time passed by uh, then obviously the people in the photograph that is the poet's mother then her mother's two cousins betty and dolly they had underwent a sea change but if you contrast that with the world of nature you will find that or if you compare and contrast that with the world of nature you will find that there is hardly any change in the world of nature but there are some drastic changes uh, that occurs in the life of human beings with the passage of time and that is the reason we can we say no time and tides waits for none obviously in our life we become much more aged with the passage of time we don't get younger we get older with the passage of time and obviously when the poet's mother 20 30 years down the line whenever she used to look at the photograph she used to she used to nostalgically remember her bygone days that she had left behind in the form of that summer holiday in the form of that uh, beach holiday okay that is something or the sea holiday we can say now the important thing is that her mother is no longer alive sir so obviously what is the most important thing that the poet she herself is missing of course the laughter of her mother and obviously from her mother's perspective when she used to be alive what she used to miss a lot obviously she used to miss her holiday a lot as her sea holiday a lot okay now her mother died 12 years ago remember this 12 years time frame because in the picture also when the picture was been clicked by one of the, her uncle at that time supposedly we can say she was 12 years okay so these 12 years this particular age it moves like a pendulum throughout the poem okay this particular 12 years time frame it moves like a pendulum towards the poem okay throughout the entire poem and remember death of her the silence of her mother's dead silences the poet now she can't hardly speak up properly she is very upset obviously because she had lost her mother and most importantly she experiences great loss such was the loss that she can't confess also properly and she was we can say she was in a bit of shock even uh, even after 12 years whenever she, they, she used to scrounge through those photo albums and whenever she used to get hold of that particular picture she used to feel the great loss the great loss of losing the greatest treasure of her life obviously that is her mother and that is the reason silence and sadness are like the two haunting shadows that are follow are and we can say silence and sadness are like the two haunting companions in the form of shadows that are following her now and her entire world is now no longer surrounded with happiness and merriment of course the demise of the dear uh, of her mother dear departed mother the demise of her mother ultimately uh, created a uh, created a sort of voidness or emptiness all around okay 
so i hope you all understood now let me move on to the mcq uh, and let me see how much uh, how much you can do just a minute i'm showing you the mcq okay yes so just a minute uh, it will be visible very shortly maybe it is getting a time to process yes it has been it is now visible uh, yes first question is what is the poetess or wha who is the poetess of the poem a photograph yes what will be your answer dear students out of these four options which one is the correct one yes obviously it is yes charlotte olson absolutely right okay absolutely correct okay when you will be speaking up please speak a bit louder i know you you all can speak up properly and yes it is absolutely right charlotte olson is the right answer okay next one what is the poem a photograph about which one will you prefer as the right answer tribute to the poet's mother yes absolutely right tribute to the poet's mother very good nicely said both of you are correct next one what was the age of the poet's mother when the photograph was taken 12 years old yes absolutely right 12 years old very good i am highlighting it for your convenience moving on to the next one dear students when did her mother die when actually 12 years ago yes years ago. yes 12 years ago absolutely right okay the answer will be 12 years ago very good nicely said next one how many people were in the photograph how many people girls. yes very good three, three girls. girls yes absolutely right all of you because it is correct because not only the poet's mother but her two cousins betty and dolly all were in the photograph very good next one which material was the frame of the photograph made of which material cardboard yes cardboard. Yeah, absolutely right cardboard correct next one who are on both sides of her mother cousins betty and dolly yes absolutely right cousins betty and dolly correct we are moving on to question number 8 now what are the three of them doing in the photograph holding hands uh it holding hands and when holding yes absolutely right that is the reason i was uh, actually uh, thinking that yes probably you all will be giving the right answer yes i got the right answer at last yes absolutely right not only holding hands but holding hands and went for paddling okay what will be the next one who took the photograph of her mother with her cousin what will be the That's answer yes obviously her uncle correct next one question number 10 what does terribly transient feet mean in the poem very simple yes yes absolutely right her feet represent the mother who changed with time while the sea remained the same okay correct next one what was the favorite memory of our mother what was the favorite memory beach yes holidays. absolutely beach right holidays. yes absolutely right dear students you all are correct beach holidays okay next one what was the favorite memory of the poet sir her mother her mother yes absolutely right all of you are correct her mother's memories brilliant very good impressive next one number 14 what would the mother show to her daughter while showing her the photograph how her parents used dress her for the beach yes very good because the way that they were they were wearing the swimming costumes that was something that made her hilarious 20 or 30 years later when her daughter um, uh, came with this particular photograph and she went on to remember those past instances okay correct how her parents dressed her for the beach absolutely right next one i will be asking you this question wait uh, what was the last phase in the poem what was the last phase after her mother after died after her mother yes died. very good after her mother died absolutely right last one what does uh, she feel in the last phase she means the poet pain and grief very good this is the right answer because this is very tough because pain and nostalgic you might be thinking sad and nostalgic but no this is the answer pain and grief very excellently done okay very nice thank you thank you everyone and another important thing before i wind up before i end the class uh, 15 mcq questions are given in google form 
uh, promise me you all will be attending it okay i want to see i will be opening it in the evening time i want to see maximum responses from this class okay because you all have told very correctly even the als was been done extremely well okay i really i am very impressed and i hope that the meeting i mean the meeting link of google form that particular uh, link i will be providing in the whatsapp already in the classroom it is provided i hope many of you did also but in the whatsapp i will be providing it as soon as it is provided please do it obviously it will be a self evaluation before the exam and it will boost up your confidence also because you have to answer in google form okay so thank you everyone it was nice uh, having a class with you all and see you all tomorrow and the next lot uh, get ready for tomorrow for your als okay thank you everyone have a nice day take care everyone thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you, thank you everyone thank you